Hello everyone, what is up, it is me, AlbiMTG. For today's video, we have probably the most important video I'm ever going to make on this channel, which is the official Planeswalker tier list. We're going to be putting all of the Planeswalkers that have cards in the game that are post-mending uh, into a tier list. Of course, S being the highest tier, F being the lowest tier. Really quickly, we'll go over each of the Planeswalkers. Again, these are all the ones that have cards officially in the game. So real quick, we'll just uh, run through these. Uh, we've got Ajani, Amanatsu, Angrath, Arlen, Ashiok, Nicol Bolas, Chandra, Dak Faden, Doretti, Davriel, Domri, Dovin, Elspeth, Estrid, Garrick, Gideon, Huatli, Jace, Jaya, I brought up his, his scryfall page so I would remember it, Jiang Yanggu is how I'm going to say it for the rest of the video. I'll probably just call him the guy with Mo Wu because it's a lot easier to say his dog's name than it is to say his name. Uh, so we've got the dude with Mo Wu, Karn, Kazmina, Kaya, Kiora, Koth, Liliana, Nahiri, Narset, Nissa, Obnixlis, Rao Zarek, Rowan Kenrith, uh, Sahili, Samit, Sarkin, Sorin, Tamio, Teferi, Teo, Tezzeret, Tybalt, Ugin, Venser, Vivian Reed, Vraska, The Wanderer, Will Kenrith, Xenagos, and finally, Mu Yanling. I also brought up her name over here, her uh, Scryfall page, so that I wouldn't uh, forget the name for those ones. But we'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit now so that we can start putting these Planeswalkers into the official tier list here. Uh, so I think I'm just going to kind of like go around I'm not going to go in a specific order here uh, first up I'm going to just go ahead and stick Liliana in the S tier she is just like my favorite planeswalker so she also has just like a ton of you know uh, different storylines throughout the course of the game and uh, she's a very powerful planeswalker taking down all of the uh, the demons uh, so to me she's a she's an S rank uh, S rank planeswalker uh, another s rank Planeswalker, I think, is Ugin. I'm a big fan of Ugin as well. He can go up there. Uh, I, it feels bad every time I lose to him in Tron, but uh, in terms of the lore and just like his Planeswalker cards in general, I'm a big fan of Ugin. So Ugin can also be s rank up there with Liliana. Is there any other Planeswalkers that I think are s rank? I feel like probably Nicol Bolas should be up there. I'm not a huge Nicol Bolas fan, but I do respect it, so we'll go ahead and put him up there with his brother Ugin. Um, if it was, you know, uh, me personally, he'd probably be just like a C. I'm not a big fan of his, like, you know, the lore behind him. I think he's, I'm not a, I'm not usually a big fan of just, like, the generic bad guy uh, in, in stories, but he has, you know, done quite a bit for the game. However, he's no longer around with us anymore. Um, after War of the Spark, but we have uh, Nicol Bolas up here in the S rank. I believe that's it for the S ranks. Uh, as we move on to the A rank Planeswalkers, first up I want to put Karn. Karn is pretty legit, but not quite as legit as the others. Um, after that, I'm also going to put, I think, Soren. Soren has also done quite a bit um, throughout the course of Magic and has some pretty neat Planeswalker cards, so Soren can go up there as well. Um, after Soren, who else do we like? I think Garrick probably as well. I like Garrick's storyline a little bit, so we'll put Garrick up there. Um, not a huge fan of most of his cards. Most of his cards have been kind of like mediocre, aside from like the original one that untaps the lands and the M15 one, but I think in terms of the lore, I kind of like the story behind him. Um, I think Ashiok also A tier Planeswalker for sure. She's probably pretty close to S tier to be honest, or it's probably p pretty close to S tier. But uh, we'll go ahead and put Ashiok there. Some of these newer Planeswalkers are a little bit hard to determine their rankings, like Kazmina here. I really like her card, but I don't know much about her in the lore. That probably means she's, you know, between a B and a C here. I'm going to go ahead and say Kazmina is probably a C rank Planeswalker, but maybe as we learn more about her and uh, in the future and maybe get a different card of her, then she could easily move up to become an A or B ranked uh, Planeswalker. Um, in terms of Planeswalkers that I just, like, don't really like, I don't... Obviously, I had to go ahead and bring up her card over here just so I would know <laughs> what her name was for the... 
uh, for the video. I'm not a huge fan of her. I don't really know the lore significance behind her. Um, but, uh, yeah, not a huge fan of her along with that. Huatli, I think Huatli is also just an F-tier planeswalker. Um, I think bringing the dinosaurs into magic just felt kind of weird, and so having her as, like, the face of the dinosaurs um, in terms of planeswalkers just doesn't really fit with me. Um, the Kenneriths I'm also not big on, but I think that Battle Bond was kind of cool, so we'll we'll put them both in, in D tier. I think it would feel weird to have one of these in a different tier, um, so they both get the same tier together. We'll go D rank on them. After that, Teo is also probably pretty F tier. I like that he makes, like, I like his deck for, or his mechanic, for his new Planeswalker card for, like, Arcades, uh commander decks, but aside from that, that's basically it. So F tier Planeswalker for Teo because it's only good in, like, one certain situation. <sighs> Teferi's kind of an interesting one because I hate playing against Teferi, but I like Teferi's role in the lore, and his three mana card is pretty decent. I like his creature card, the the old five mana one. I think Teferi's probably B tier. I don't think he's quite A tier, but we'll we'll put Teferi in B tier. Um, Dovin I think is probably like Dovin's in between F and F and D. We're gonna go ahead and give uh, Dovin an F tier. Um, Tamio is pretty sweet. I'll put Tamio up here with uh, with Teferi in the B rank. Uh, I think that seems like a reasonable spot. Uh, Angrath, I think, is pretty cool, too. We'll go ahead and give him uh, B rank, even though I didn't, I wasn't really a big fan of him in terms of the story. I do kind of like both of his cards, the one from Ravos of Ixalan, and even just like the uncommon one from War of the Spark. I think those cards ended up being pretty neat. Uh, Davriel, I'm also... So Davriel's close. I, I read, like, Davriel was the first Planeswalker that I was truly truly intrigued by in War of the Spark. It was the first one where he was a new Planeswalker that I felt that I wanted to read the lore on, mainly because I wanted to play him in 8-Rack. So after reading the lore, I actually think I am going to put Davriel up in the A tier. Uh, for those of you that don't know the lore behind Davriel, I recommend you go read it. There was a nice little article, and even I think a small like little book that was put out about Davriel. So go ahead and look up his lore. I think he's a very cool Planeswalker. Uh, so A tier for Davriel. Chandra is also pretty cool. Chandra can go A tier. Um, Jaya, on the other hand, where's Jaya? I don't really like Jaya that much, so Jaya is going to go D tier. Um, of course, you have to pay respect to the originals, since Jaya was kind of like the original Pyromancer before Chandra came along, but I think Chandra has far surpassed uh, Jaya. Um, Xenagos is kind of just like C tier. He's like average... He was like a god planeswalker, or he was a planeswalker that ascended into a god, which is kind of neat, but aside from that, he doesn't really do anything, so I think C tier is probably fine. He also, I think, is why Elspeth is dead, and I kind of like Elspeth, so Elspeth's probably like B tier. Um, Vivian Reed is like C tier as well, I think. I kind of like her, uh, like the spirit drawings that end up behind her in the artwork, like uh, Vivian's Grizzly, the artwork on that card, and whatever the... I think it was like a Jaguar or a Panther or something like that in her Planeswalker deck. That was uh, great artwork on that one as well. Um, Aminatsu, I think I'm also just going to go ahead and give a C. This one's pretty close between a C and a D, but she's just kind of like average. Um, after that, Sahili, again, I think is probably just kind of like between C and B... Um, we'll go ahead and give Sahili a C, because I feel like I'm, for most of these Planeswalkers, I'm rating them on the higher end of where I th think they should be. Like, if I think that they're between a B and a C, I end up giving them a B here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give Sahili a C, a little bit lower this time around, just to kind of even out some of these, uh, some of these tiers. Arlen, I'm not really big on Arlen, I'm going to give a D. I like that she was a Flip Planeswalker, but like we've had Flip Planeswalkers before in uh, Garrick, so it wasn't like she was just the first ever uh, Planeswalker, and I don't think she's very good. So uh, we'll go ahead and put her in D tier. Estrid, I think I'm also going to put in D tier. I'm not a huge fan of her ability, like making the masks and things like that. I think that's just kind of like, I don't know, pointless. Dak, I really like. So, here's the thing. Before War of the Spark, I probably would have put Dak, like, S tier or A tier. But the way that they killed off Dak Faden is just so dumb that I think I, it brings him down...
to like C tier or D tier. I think I'm going to go with C tier here, but the way that he died in the War of the Spark trailer was just so dumb, and the fact that they didn't even give him a Planeswalker card in War of the Spark is kind of annoying. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give Dak C tier, but before War of the Spark, he easily would have been S tier or A tier. So C tier for Dak Faden. Kaya, I think, is pretty sweet. Kaya is just like your general B tier Planeswalker. Um, nothing too crazy about her, but she is just kind of cool, unique ability on her um, from the first uh, Planeswalker card that she had during Conspiracy Take the Crown. That was a very unique ability. So B tier for Kaya. Um, Tezzeret's kind of an interesting one. Like... He's got a couple of cool cards, but again, he's just kind of like your stereotypical villain. And like I said with uh, uh, Nicol Bolas up here, I'm not really a big fan of like the villain type, like the stereotypical villain type character. So for me, Tezzeret's like between a C and a D. So I guess I'll go Tezzeret with C. Uh, Narset, I think, is probably just kind of like C tier as well, maybe D tier. I guess we'll go C tier. She's just kind of average again. Same thing goes with like some of these other planeswalkers, like Domri's, just kind of average. Uh, Samet, I think I'm going to give a D. I liked that she was able to go from a creature into a planeswalker throughout Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation, but that's like the only thing cool about her. All of her planeswalker cards were pretty bad, and I think the way that she got her spark is kind of dumb as well. We've seen planeswalkers do like some super crazy things to get their sparks to ignite and hers just was kind of basic. Nahiri probably it's between B and A tier. I think I'm also going to go A tier and we'll go ahead and put her over here next to Soren because I think the storyline between her and Soren and like trapping Soren in the rock is a, a pretty cool little storyline here and I think that's part of the reason why she gets A. If she was just like a random you know Lithomancer on uh, on Zendikar, she'd probably just be C tier, but the storyline between her chasing down Soren, I think, moves her up to A tier. Koth, I think, probably goes C tier or D tier. I think Koth is going to go D tier. If we had another Koth card, like once we see more Koth cards in the future, then Koth definitely has the ability to move up to C, probably even B. I doubt A, but probably between C and B tier once we see more cards of him in the future. Vraska, I think, is sweet. Vraska can go B tier. She's pretty cool. Um, Jace is going to be, like, the questionable one because I feel like there's a bunch of people that just have Jace right here in the S tier, and I'm not really a huge fan of Jace. I liked his, obviously, some of his cards, like Jace the Mind Sculptor. That was a sweet card. Even his Shadows over Innistrad card was kind of sweet, but I feel like in the story he has a lot of just, like, really dumb stuff that he does, so I'm going to put Jace probably... Like, I think Jace is just your average Planeswalker, honestly. Maybe even below average, but to pay at least a little respect to him being a, a main character in the storyline, I'm going to put Jace at C tier. I'm going to say Jace is just your average Planeswalker. Venser, I think, goes... Venser's between... Yeah, I guess Venser's just D tier. Nothing too crazy about him. Um, Duretti, I think, is kind of the same thing. Kind of cool having a Goblin Planeswalker. There's... Uh, none of those that I think I know about outside of uh, Duretti. Maybe there might be more uh, once we see in the future, um, like future cards and things like that. But I think right now Duretti is probably the only one. Uh, the Wanderer is super sweet. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go C tier on the Wanderer right now. And then once we find out who the Wanderer is, it has a pretty good chance of moving up to, like, A tier. I, I like the idea behind her. She could be, you know, like a reanimation of Elspeth, like Elspeth coming back from the dead. She could just be some random planeswalker from Kamigawa. Could really be anything right now, and I think that that makes her, in some people's minds, like an A or a B planeswalker. But I feel like in the end, if we ever find out who the Wanderer truly is, it might be kind of disappointing. And so I think C tier is where I'm going to go for now. It's just kind of a safe position, but again, maybe an A or a B tier on some people's lists. But again, this is the official ranking. So C tier for the Wanderer. Obnixilis, I think he's going to start the, uh, the second row here of C tier Planeswalkers. Um, yeah, Obnixilis is kind of cool. Again, I like that he had a creature card and then moved into a Planeswalker card um, once he got Obnixilis reignited from Battle for Zendikar. But he doesn't really do too much, honestly. He's just kind of like there. Um, he looks cool, but 
he's just kind of there, which I think is like the exact definition of a C tier planeswalker. Like Sahili is just kind of there, Narset just kind of there. Um, after that, we've got Tybalt. So Tybalt's obviously supposed to be here, but I do kind of like Tybalt in the lore, so I think we'll move Tybalt up to D tier. Nissa is pretty sweet. I'm gonna put Nissa. I'll put Nissa B tier. I think between her, like she's very similar to Chandra, but I think Chandra is just like significantly cooler. It's probably just because of the fire and stuff compared to like speaking to the land or whatever it is that Nissa does. So Nissa ends up B tier. Uh, Johnny's pretty sweet. I don't really like this Ajani card in particular that they have here chosen for the picture, but I like Ajani Vengeance, Ajani Mentor of Heroes, those kind of cards are pretty sweet. Um, and I think it was like a pretty cool thing that he carried around uh, Elspeth's like little cloak thing on uh, on Theros. So I think Ajani will go B tier as well. Ral, I think, is probably just your generic C tier Planeswalker again. Same thing with Sarkin. They just don't really do much. Like, Ral to me was one of the most forgettable planeswalkers ever um, until like War of the Spark came along and he got at least a little bit of a thing in the lore with his thing with Tomic but aside from that just kind of a C planeswalker he's just sort of there doesn't really do too much um, I think I'm also going to go ahead and stick the dude with Mowu also here at C he has the the distinct quality that he has this companion with him and let's face it Mowu is a cute cute dog if we go ahead and just like let's just look at the token for mowu real quick let's just let's just go ahead and okay so that's mowu's actual card i guess they don't have the token but even then you can just see mowu mowu is is great and you can see even in the background there's a much smaller or i guess on like his last card too you could see just how small mowu was and then he like grows up into a powerful fighting dog and i think that that's sweet so mowu and uh his his owner go here in the c tier Kiora. So I've played with a lot of Kiora cards, which makes me want to put her B tier instead of C tier. But again, same thing that I said about some of these other planeswalkers. She just doesn't really do anything, so she's C tier. And then finally, we have Gideon. Rest in peace. We'll give him an A tier. I think he probably belongs in B tier. I'm not a huge fan of, not a huge fan of Gideon at all. But we'll we'll pay our respects to Gideon and at least give him at least give him an A tier. So we had, you know, the top three over here at S tier. We had a reasonable amount here at A tier, some solid B tier Planeswalkers as well, plenty of C tier Planeswalkers, which is kind of how it's supposed to be when you think about, like, the bell curve. You're supposed to have more Cs than you would As or Fs or, you know, any of the other uh, letters. But, uh, yeah, this has been ranking all of the Planeswalkers. This is the official Magic the Gathering Planeswalker tier list. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm sure you guys are going to have your opinions down low in the comment section. I can't wait to hear them. Be sure to let me know your thoughts. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed me doing something a little bit different here by doing this sort of a tier list kind of video. Had a lot of fun making it expressing my opinions about some of these planeswalkers talking about some of the planeswalkers that i don't like talking about some of the planeswalkers that i do like so be sure to let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section be sure to subscribe for more content to come here in the new near future and i will see you guys here tomorrow for yet another magic the gathering video